you know, much as you don't like this course as far as visuals with the Christmas trees and the streets and, you know, paths and all that, that we're playing down it, you know, they do a great job. Steve Dodge does a great job out there, continuing to tweak the course and trying to get it harder and harder because players are getting better and better. And that's what you have to do. I, I mean, I'm a big fan. Hey, you know what? They switched a couple holes that I had. I had pretty big pet peeves about too, which mm. like seven going down the road. Yeah. I love that hole, but I don't think it, you should ever be going down roads and they pulled it over to the right. And now it's a real disc golf hole. I haven't played it, but it looked like it played pretty tough and I like the shot shape of it. Nice. Um, a hole one. Yeah. How did that play? How did, how was the, great, but how I mean, was the you're reception throwing, you're for throwing it? it on a road? And here's, here's the well, problem. How, how was the triple Mando? I guess is that was sweet. Yeah, it was awesome. But it, listen, I don't care about the triple Mando. Great. You can, well, you a can lot of people, it up as a lot of people hate the triple Mando. Here's the thing. Yep. Goose throws a perfect shot, hits the landing zone, mm-hmm. hits a road, mm-hmm. skips into the shul. Mm-hmm. Not I mean, cool. There's not, not cool. There, there's not a huge. I don't care what anybody says. You can't be telling us, okay, here's the most beautiful, best hole in the world. Now hit the road. <laughs> well, there's not. I yeah, can't, there's, I can't, there's not I can't, a massive I can't landing zone. I can't write off on this, man. There's not a massive landing zone to 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 begin with. There. Um. So I, I agree with that. And and like you said, if you hit the landing zone, you could you could it's potentially the best skip out. Final of it. round hits a rock in the middle of a road. Yeah. Shoots him into a horrible spot. Sorry, dude. Can't write off on the best hole in the world. See, like that love hole. hole. Love the shape of the hole. Love the visual of the hole. Love the pond. Love the triple mando. Love every aspect of the entire hole. Plant some grass down the middle of the fairway, please. Well, how about this? Put some. I mean, yes. Hey, let's just not have... for the week. Put a little some chips on the road all the way down. I would like that. Fix but it. What... What about this? I was but just I'm thinking about this. I'm the complains about it, so it don't matter. How, how cool would this be? Now, obviously, you'd have to get rid of all the Christmas trees, but let's just, hole one, no Christmas trees, right? All the trees are gone. What if you made it to where right of the, the street, right, that little road, right of it is OB. So everyone's got to land it in that where all the Christmas trees are now. That's all landing zone. Man. And then another day you could switch it. And now everything left of the street is OB. And now you have to land to the right. That's another way of kind of changing the course in a way, make people have to throw different shots. Um, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. Call it. Right a good question. Just throwing into a Christmas tree patch. He, he says, is this disc golf or a Christmas tree farm? Yeah. It's I mean, a Christmas that, tree farm. It, it's yeah. It, but it's again, a disc like golf that, course on a Christmas tree farm. And it's one of the best courses and tournaments we play. It just shows you where oh, disc golf currently is. People it just, always think that I just can't stand Maple Hill. No, no, you, you love. No, no, no. Don't get. No, I love Maple Hill. You know, I know. You want you want what's best for the sport. And yes, at the end of the day, that's what this podcast is all about. Some people get it twisted. We are trying to find change. We are trying to push for the sport to continue to grow. Now, Goose is is on the lead card. He throws the best drive. He hits a rock ends up in the worst spot because he has to throw it on a gravel road. How can that not sink in? And for somebody to be like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. Maybe they're, maybe they shouldn't be throwing in the middle of the road. Guess what your other plan is? I'll throw it as far as I can. And it doesn't matter if I throw it far enough and hopefully don't land right up on a Christmas tree. <laughs> then it's a better shot. Hopefully I don't land on a Christmas tree. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I mean, the thought process is, Obviously, a lot of the things we talk about on this podcast can't be implemented right now with where the state of disc golf is. However, if everyone just decides that we're okay with it and we all just agree with, hey, it's fine because this is just what disc golf is, when disc golf could get to that level, like of where if money was in and flowing and coming in, there could be people being like, well, no one really is talking about change. So we don't have to do anything. Like think about what's happening with the baskets. Like we have complained so much about baskets that what are they doing now? They're finally actually going to have restrictions or a a tour specific basket, you know? And it's like, that's just what you have to do. You have to continue to push for, for change to happen. Um, imagine this. Okay. 
right side of the fair last thing left side of the fairway actually has grown christmas trees not little tiny teeny tiny stumps everywhere hmm. grown ones just like on um 13 you don't clear the christmas trees on 13 you're in a world of hurt aren't you yeah you're not in a great it's a spot. Tough spot it's a yeah. tough spot now if you land left or right imagine what that would look like and then you just lay down a bunch of a bunch of uh um chips that, hey now i'm endorsing it best hole in the world yeah no i mean there's definitely a, there's definitely more things that can be done but i will say the staff out at Maple Hill is best. one of the best staffs it's that best, we have yeah. as far as doing as much. And, and I think they would do even more if they could. Did you but, see them all get dressed up in the suits for the final round? Yeah. I mean, Dodge is always in a suit every Dodge, day. No, they, which is, all spotters had nice little pullover suits. Oh, Looked that's very nice. nice. I didn't see any of that, but yeah. that, is, that is very nice. Very nice. Everybody I saw had a nice little suit on or it wasn't a suit, but it was a, it was a nice dress jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Professional. I like it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you still had people on hole eight fly flying around the green with the, with their flags, but you know, it is what it is. 